What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. We're talking about Westworld. That's right. Westworld it, Season 3, Episode 2. Season 3, Episode 2. It's called The 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 Winter Line. The Winter Line. Yes. Yes. Um, this was... Uh, what do you think, man? I thought this was a fantastic episode. This is, this is really good TV, man. It was good TV, bro. Yeah, no, I thought it was another good one. Um, a lot of people I know have been criticizing the show. The people that... Who? It's funny, because... Well, just, I kill just by him. looking, no, no, not me, but but by, by looking through, um, you know, just comments from people, even on other videos about the season so far, it's one, one of the big criticisms in the show, in the in especially season one, was it was very confusing, and I think the same people are now upset that it's not as it's like, I hate to say the word like dumbed down. No, but it's, it's accessible. Not, They've made it yeah. more accessible, and but I think it's like those same people that complained about how tough it was to to understand. Now they're complaining uh, that it's it's easier. Yeah, to Yeah, no. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start the whole, preface the whole thing by saying I actually don't know what's the real world anymore. So it's not as yeah. I don't think that it is fucking. I dumbed think there down was some. Or, yeah, dude. I, I know. I just it's seen very a lot accessible. Of that. You, you know what it is, Mikey? Yeah. We got through a whole bunch of fucking things, and now that are at the point where it's like everything's out in the open. So, yeah. so no longer are we in a mystery mode, per se. There's still some mystery here and there. There's yeah. a couple of mysteries we'll talk about in a second, but um, now we're in reaction mode. We're reactionary now. Now we're going to see what will Dolores do now. What mm -hmm. will you know, what will Maeve do? What will Bernard do? Now we're in those modes where we get... I love it. I'm having a fantastic... It's only two episodes in, and I'm, I'm loving it. I thought it was great. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a couple of questions. Let's get to those real quick and see what we yeah. can talk about. Okay. Uh, all right, so this question comes from Rob J from the Facebook group. What up? Uh, he. <laughs> this is cool, too, because obviously I think we spoke about this a little bit. What did you think of the Don, the Dan and Dave Easter egg um, in the Westworld episode? D&D &D from, from Game of Thrones, man. From the Game of Thrones. We saw Thrones. Drogon there. there. And... Well, yeah, the creators of the show, I guess. Yeah. Uh, fucking Drogon? Dude, man, yeah, look, they had to do a little nod. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, I wrote, I wrote in there. I was like, Drogon! You know, like... In yeah. my little notes, like I thought it was fantastic, man. Of course they're gonna, of course they're gonna do that, right? What do yeah. you think, man? It, it was... It was, no, it was cool, especially what they were talking about—the quick little dialogue that that they had with each other about this island off of Costa Rica that they were right. supposedly sending Drogon. Right. And if you know Michael Crichton, who wrote Westworld and and also Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park yeah. homage to to um, to him and that. So I think that was cool. And um, there was like a little add-on to the question. It was Wait, like, did what, he write what, Westworld? Or he just directed it. No, he wrote it. Did he write it? I believe, I believe he wrote it. I know he directed it, the the, the original, but did he write it too? Probably. Anyway, uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, a little nod to that. Yeah, yeah man. It was, it was a cool. It was it was a cool homage to him. And someone also like added to that, like, um, how would it have been if if um, Drogon became awoke like like the tiger did in the previous season? Become like self aware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine that happening. That That'd be would fun, be sick. Bro. That would be fun. That would be fun. And um, then Dolores is riding Drogon. Like, <laughs> uh, they try and make up for what happened at the end of Game of Thrones. No spoilers. Yeah. Sorry, spoiler alert. Yeah, that was great. That was fantastic. I, I yeah, it was cool. It was cool to see. It was yeah. cool to to see. Um, probably, I'm probably more happy to see Drogon than I am to see. Yeah. Dan and Dave after the way the the season ended. Yeah, true. In, in Game of Thrones, but anyway. Um, all right, let yeah, let's. You want to read this one or no? Go for it. Go for it. All right. Um, all right. So we have a, a question from Michelle S uh, from Facebook, for, uh, the Facebook group. Also, she said, "I loved the scene when Maeve reformats the drone to save her unit that was yeah. sitting that was save sitting there, herself, her brain, yeah. her yeah." Um, what did you guys think of that scene and the drone itself? Uh, you go ahead. You want to start that one? Um. No, I thought it was really interesting just 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 to to get up to that point in the in the episode and how we found out there were a bunch of simulations and how Maeve um, broke the system, you know, right. uh, with the with the question. Um, I forgot what the the mathematical question was, but you guys all know what I'm talking about. Yep. So it was just cool up to that up to that scene initially, um, but to see this drone and how maybe the world can eventually get in the future and to see. Um, the technology was very interesting. Um, obviously, the drone is gunned down, and, and Maeve doesn't necessarily get the unit um, in that moment. But yeah, I thought it was a really cool scene. I, I really like the fact that we're seeing um, the outside world, 
And, oh, well, uh, that's what you feel the same way. And that's what this is yeah. really about this season. And, and to see the technology, because it's supposed to be 30 or 30 some odd years into the future um, from now. So it's just um, that's kind a of a time. cool glimpse. Yeah, it's kind of a cool glimpse um, into the potential for us could be. So, yeah, yeah. I did really enjoy that season. And I think it's, uh, I think it's a realistic. I think it's realistic. I think it's a realistic look at the future. Yeah. Absolutely. I, 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 you know, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, I agree. I thought it was fantastic. I liked, um, it looked fantastic. Um, and a shout out to John in the Facebook group. Uh, he's a long time supporter of our channel and everything. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know, we have a Westworld group. You can look, it's in the, it's in the description. You just go to our Facebook page. It's the groups there. Uh, it's just third person Westworld. If you want to search for it on Facebook, really fun. Lots of fun people in there. Lots of good stuff. All of a lot yeah. of our friends from the Badlands crew from those groups we were in and everything. They're on the, anyway, John, po you know, we like to post behind the scenes stuff. John beat us to it. He posted the behind the behind the scenes look that is at the end of the episodes and stuff. Yeah. If, if you stick around and watch them, um, just, you know, talk showing and talking about, uh, specifically how they did the mocap for the uh the you know the capture performance for the drone and making it look real yeah. and like so yeah. it's just it's just a fantastic show um did you see you see the scene where that where Maeve shut down the 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 world dude, war uh, all right, the so, world so let's go there real quick yeah dude war world first of all war yeah. world and she knows yeah. it's war world like she knows yeah. that's what it's called right yeah. and she's dude you guys got to go check it out. Go to the Facebook group, or you can look on YouTube or everything. But I, you know, we'd like you to join yeah. the Facebook group if you haven't already. The way that they set it up so that they are, yeah, panning around the characters and it's in for, like those were actual people frozen up on pedestals yeah. and stands yeah. and like leaning yeah. back and like it was fin. It's so cool. You can see that I just have so much fun, and I love that they, that they're given the ability to like go for broke with this stuff. Um, yeah. And the, the 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 two creators, I love it because they're like. Uh, Lisa Joy and um, uh, 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 what's the other, what's the guy's name? I forget his name, but sorry. Yeah, but guy. anyway, the two creators of it, right? They they're very serious. They're like very serious about it. But they but you you know but they enjoy what they're doing. But I just like how they're just like yeah, this is our shit. Like this is awesome. Yeah, that's, just... hey, that's what it has to be. Yeah, War World. <laughs> Let me ask to. you this, Mikey. What'd you think? Yeah. I mean, what did you think? So so Maeve wakes up and and she comes awake again. What did you think when all of a sudden she couldn't? One, she couldn't control. Two, she wakes up and nobody, um, the the two techs from previous didn't know her. They didn't right? recognize she her. She didn't yeah. have her power. What did you think about that? What were you thinking? What was going through your well, mind? Well, I mean, at first, I thought it was cool because when she when she initially gets captured with with Hector, which it wasn't Hector. What was his name in this one? I forgot what his name was. Oh, who cares? It was Hector. different because they yeah. they put him into He's this spy, new world. Right? So he has obviously he has another character's name, but how quickly she. Uh, took charge the second time when they went into it the second time where she woke up in the same situation and she meets her. Oh, no, we're going to go this way. You're going to follow me this time. So I thought that was really cool um, how she just kind of took it was charge. A, it was of, a few uh, times, wasn't it? Like by him. the third yeah, time. Yeah, but it was, it was the second after, time. The second she, time she got in, right. And then, yeah. yeah. I thought I thought um, it was, what about when, when she gets to the forge, right? So we see this story yeah. with Lee and he's like, oh, I did it. Well, and she's like, ah, oh, you're not real. Initially, and I, when she saw Felix, I thought he recognized her. Because it's almost like he kind of just said, all right, I know who you are. I'm going to let you right, go. Right. But there are a lot of people talking about that scene saying that um, whoever made this simulation didn't necessarily know that Felix and the other guy, I think it was Simon, right? Yeah. Is the other guy the blonde so I think guy? think Simon, yeah. Who called, who called the He's security? He's like security, yeah. Yeah. I guess they didn't realize that they had helped Mave in season two, and maybe that's why they didn't tech, you know, make them recognize her. Oh, that's, exa that's exactly was, it, yeah. Yeah, I just thought it was weird because to me, the Felix part especially, I just – it kind of looked like they, he knew who she was. They did it really go. well. Yeah. They did it really well yeah. where you're like, oh, okay, exactly what you're saying. I thought the same thing. Oh, okay, he's yeah. pretending he doesn't know her. And then it goes through the whole thing and then you find out – and then he's like, oh, we brought you to the forge. And then, then it started getting a little – like he pops out from behind a tree and he's like, I got horses. And it's like – all right, I'm like, hold on, something's all right. And then she goes to the forge. I'm like, wait a minute. As he's talking, um, as she's realizing it, I'm sitting here going, wait a minute. She wasn't there. She didn't do this. She didn't do that. Yeah. He's at, obviously, it's very obvious. He's asking questions, and she's like, what? I wasn't there. I'm like, you weren't yeah. there. You don't know shit. Oh well, yeah. where did you send them? Like they're trying to figure a shit out by using her, obviously. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. and then he turns out he's and I loved when he glitched. That was so great. When all of a sudden she get the whole thing was 
Yeah. Oh, Com- wait, with Stubbs? No, 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 before that. When she oh, okay. she tells Lee he's not real, he glitches the system because it overloads because oh. the system is yeah. is parsing itself. And it's like, I, I very accessible. It's a little mm. bit, it's a little cerebral, but it's also very accessible because it's not hard yeah. to follow. It's like, okay, she's in a she's in the simulation and they're trying to get information from her. That's why they put blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. But that's the question. The question is who is running this sim, the simulation? Oh, it's Delos, dude. It's no. Del- they're, they're, listen, they're, they're doing loss prevention. They're, they're trying to uh, get back what, you know, they're trying to get back what they had. If, now, if you remember in the previous episode when uh, uh, Hale goes into the board meeting and whatever, and she's like, we got these other parks, blah, blah. So they're still moving forward. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. you're not going to just stop what you're doing because that happened. You're going to cover it up, sweep it up, cover it, you know, put it under the rug, move forward. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to find Dolores themselves. Right. I they, guess, right? So they're so. doing all this stuff. So, yeah. So I thought that was great. Um, yeah. So Stubbs, I didn't remember Stubbs was a host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end of the I season. I completely he, yeah. forgot. I didn't watch the last episode yeah. beforehand. I didn't get a chance. So, yeah, dude, I didn't know. I was like, I was like, oh my god. And if you watch yeah. that behind the scenes thing uh, that John was gracious enough to post for us, he mm-hmm. uh, uh, that was that was all Luke Hemsworth, man. That was all him. Yeah, he did. It. Yeah, he did a great job too. Because at first, I'm like, damn. It, I it's wonder like, if that's like computer yeah. generated or whatever. Animated Bernard does or whatever. the same thing. He does it really well too. They yeah. Do the same. Yeah. No, they they both really did a, a great job as far as the whole you know rebooting or whatever you want to say or or glitching yeah Yeah, it was uh i mean listen we have it was it was obviously mave and bernard centric this episode um there was a couple other little questions that i even had about like how easy it was for bernard to show up on the shores of westworld and it was like he was like he's the guy like number one enemy who you know supposedly is to blame for terror they call him like the terrorist yeah so yeah Mm -hmm. so it's like Mm -hmm. he he just hires this fisherman guy um who just brings him right up to the gate i know you so, gotta get him there though so you know? yeah no i know you gotta, you gotta get, get him there man. but there could have been a firefight somehow it, it, it seems like there wasn't many people as far as like security uh that's that's protecting those westworld borders i guess yeah. or yeah. was that a simulation i don't know i mean they can throw a lot of wrenches in the game i mean will ford show back up in this season you i know, actually thought he, he was going it? to find i thought he was going to find ford because yeah. he went back to the house, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I thought he was, like, going to find, like, that little boy or something like that. But yeah. then, yeah, then he finds – I I thought – what I thought the whole – what did you think of the whole uh, – the buddy cop thing? I thought Stubbs and Bernard together were really good. That scene where he's yeah. he's he's like, I'm in this – I'm here. I need to – I'm going to I'm gonna jack in, and I'm going to I'm gonna do this, you know, protect me. And Stubbs is like, all right. And he just, like yeah. – and he just beats the snot out of all those guys. Like, it was really yeah. good. And I'm glad – I love Stubbs. I love this character. Yeah. And I'm glad well, to like see that he's back and he's now he's he's gonna help Bernard. He's like, you know, you could have just asked me. Like it was so yeah. fun. It's just good stuff. Yeah. I like it a lot, you know. And he kind and Bernard kind of reboot, re, you know, changes his system. So well, that's now what I'm he's saying. He's like leave the, the whole park and. Well, that's what I'm saying. He was like, yeah. he, He's like, you could have just asked me, <laughs> you know, instead yeah, of yeah, rebooting yeah, yeah. me. You didn't have to do that shit. Yeah. Um, the only other questions I have, I've got two questions. One, mm. obviously, when Hector gives Maeve those pills, those are like. I assume they were like cyanide pills in case they died. Yeah, in case they died for their then, like secrets. But or... then she uses it and pokes it in his eye. I was like, it's so little. What are you yeah. doing? It's like the yeah. t- I like I thought that was a little silly. It's so uh-huh. little. Like your fingers are the ones that went in his eye, not the pill. But maybe it was because it like it blew up in his eye and it was like gonna yeah, foam out his eye or something. I guess that was the whole fluid, point. But, yeah. Um, and the other one is who is this? Who is this Sirac guy? I'm like, is that real or is, or is she in another simulation? And he's just well, that, I, was, I mean, I he was stopped thinking, her. Was remember, he's he the one her. that was. Yeah, he he was. Um, I think it's a simulation. I, I was, well, I was thinking he may have been in charge of of some somewhat doing the simulations. I'm not sure. Doesn't he work for the other company? I don't know. Mike, that's what I'm saying. I don't remember. I don't know this guy. Do we yeah, know this guy? Did I, I miss something? Do I not remember no, anything? This, this is the first time we saw him, but I... Well, let us know. His name is Ciroc. I think this is his last name. Something Yeah, Ciroc. either way. Either way. I don't know. I For some reason, I'm thinking that he was a part of the Insight Company. Oh, pro- maybe, maybe. But look, that's a question that we have that we'll find out. I just... What do you think? You think that was, a, that was a, because he was able to stop her? Maybe I mean is could he be uh could he be a host himself? No, no, I don't think he's a host. Uh, I think he's a real person. But I'm thinking he was in a they were in a 
simulation. They, he booted her up in a simulation, like possibly. I mean, otherwise all of a she appeared right. In this but otherwise, totally where what place. body would she have? Where where would they get her a body? Like he would just get it from Delos, like unless he's running it at De who the hell knows? Unless that wasn't even Delos. That might not even, that may not have even been Delos. What when? Where the, she broke out of, or was it? Did they say drone? Delos on there? Yeah, did say Delos. Yeah, no, that was Delos. For okay, sure. that was say Delos. So anyway, somehow look. maybe he has. I don't know. It, it, you're probably right. It's probably a simulation. Yeah. Then it, even if he's from another company, or something. How would he get his hands on that drone and her brain to put it in yeah. her body? So that you so, know, I don't these, know. These it's, are questions it's that you know. A simulation, and he's trying. Obviously, he pauses her, and his whole his whole mission is to get. Um, uh, Mave on his side to right, yeah. to destroy. He's got to get her to want to, I guess. Yeah, yeah. that's so she's we'll, got the free yeah. will, so. so we'll we'll see. I guess we'll definitely the, see. Uh, um, yeah. Hell yeah, it was a fantastic episode. I loved it. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna end that there. Um, yeah. I I just I just have a little bit of a, a rant slash PSA. I'm sorry, I got to do it. Um, I'm a mailman. Uh, times are are very rough out there. Um, so we're very happy that you guys are watching and, and relaxing with us and and enjoying the show and our show and our content and stuff. But I just want to say again, I am a mailman. I'm out there. Um, I have, I'm, I'm lucky enough to not be out of work. Um, yeah. you know, Mike also is lucky enough to be not out of work right now. You know, he, he he's working in the hospital. I don't, I don't think, I think we've mentioned that before, Mike. So he's out there doing his thing, helping people. I'm, you know, I'm doing my stupid little part of, you know, I'm bringing medicines. I'm, you know, bringing everyone their freaking paper towels and toilet paper that they order from Amazon. <laughs> you know, I'm out there wearing a mask, gloves and stuff, but my, my, people, I have to, I have to say this because it's been, it's been two full weeks now of people are just not staying home. I get you're bored. You're tired. Your kids are driving you fucking crazy. I get that shit, <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's so important that people, People are walking around their neighborhoods. Oh, I can go walk. I can go on a jog. I can go. But you're walking around with other people. You're, you're meeting. You're meeting people. Groups of people are meeting in the streets in the in the neighborhoods I'm delivering in. They're walking their dogs with other people. Their kids are riding their bikes through other groups. Of, I'm blo I'm losing my goddamn shit out there, people. I'm serious. They're not. And no one's wearing masks. No one's like. They are setting up morgues on corners in the city right now in New York City. They're setting up fucking morgues. People are dying from this shit, and you're out there fucking spreading it around. Please stay the fuck home. Go in your fucking backyard. Walk around your backyard. You don't have to be out on the streets with your children. I don't talk, and, and and please don't fucking come up to your mailman. Don't ask him. Don't grab the packages or the mail from him. Don't open your door. We can now. We can sign shit for you. Leave it at your door. Don't bother us. Don't come near us. Yeah. I'm not wearing a mask for my fuck for no fucking reason. You know what I mean? Wash your hands, obviously. Disinfect your mail and your packages. Wear gloves when you're touching this stuff. All right? For God's sakes, don't let your kids touch the fucking mail either. The Postal Service is saying, oh, there's no evidence that it transfers through the mail. Bullshit. It's on everything. Okay? Assume it's on everything. So, people, please, be fucking smart. Don't be one of the people that's going to be culled from humanity because you're stupid enough to not do these things. Okay? And yeah. just stay away from everybody. Stay the fuck home. That's all I got to say. So, with that, I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. But it's been two weeks, Mikey, and it's fucking no, killing I me. Dude, I'm I literally, my, yo, I'm literally yelling at people to stay back. I'm on your yeah. lawn with a mask on my face. Stay back. I don't want you near me. You know what I mean? And they don't get it. Mm -hmm. They don't get it. So, mm -hmm. stay no. safe. We love you. We don't want any of you getting hurt or 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 contracting this or anything Sick. else. Yep. So, you know, with that, where can they talk to us? <laughs> they can talk to us on all the social media outlets at third person um pod third person um check out the facebook groups like chris said earlier we have Please. the facebook group yeah. the, the links below uh, we're all over the place again we're sorry that this was kind of delayed um from 2020, when we normally man. would record yeah you know like chris said chris is out there i'm i work in a hospital myself i see what's going on firsthand um it's it's not necessarily pretty i mean let's not all you should be yelling at people mikey no you know what it is because honestly it's not all just a negative i don't want to just put all negative on it like what the media really is doing i right. see it firsthand i see patients that are recovering from this virus okay. i see people that are going home i see people that are young enough to fight it off and they're just quarantining people mm -hmm. so i don't always want to just put the negative stuff just be very careful like chris said as well keep your hands clean wash your hands don't put your hands to your face. That's where this really spreads the most. Yeah. And, you know, it, just just 
just try to stay inside as best you can. I think a lot of people, especially parents, always wish that they had more time at home with their kids. Here's your time. Stay home. Yeah, do you, you and, don't have to um, walk around the block with your kids. Trust me, you don't have right. to we'll, do it. We'll, we'll, we'll beat this. Yeah. You know, We'll beat this. It just takes a little work from everybody. Right. And we're in New York, if you guys didn't know, Chris and I, and this is where the most cases um, are really... Um, yeah, there's, really been diagnosed. they're setting up morgues in the streets in New York yeah. City right now. So, so. just uh, be smart yeah. because if you're in certain certain other states, it might not be affecting you as much and you might not take it as serious. But it is serious. Yeah. Um, so just be safe, everybody. And um, again, we're sorry that this was a little bit delayed, but the world's kind of uh, been a little bit crazy lately. So yeah. until next time, uh, it's Westworld Season 3, Episode 2. Thanks, everyone. Peace.